YouTube. Welcome to another video from Apple Scoop. In this video, I'm gonna share with you guys some tips and tricks on how to save battery life on iOS 11. So let's begin with by going into settings and then we're gonna go to general and then we're gonna scroll down to background and add refresh. Okay, so once you find it, you're gonna press background and add refresh. And if you're like me, you're gonna have a lot of application here. So a lot of these apps are gonna be running in the background and this drain battery like crazy. So um, you got a lot of apps like Instagram, um, Facebook, Twitter, these apps are running in the background all the time. So if you wanna save battery, just turn it off. You have other options. Um, you can um, only use it when the Wi-Fi is available and the third one is the one that we don't want wi-fi and data but i would just turn it off and um, refresh the the ad manually okay another tip is um actually it's in the privacy so we're going to go to the section where it says privacy and this is the location services and again if you have this on there's a lot of applications that are constantly looking for your location so they're running in the background and they're draining your battery so this is simple. If you don't need location services on, just turn it off and that's it. But now if you need it on um, for applications such as um, Google Map and you know other applications, you have other ways to do it. You can go into each application separately and only allow access while you're using the app. So um, if you want location services on that app, but you don't want the app to be running all the time, just allow access while you're using the app this means that if you're not using the app it's not going to be looking for location okay so that's going to save you a lot of battery and also on privacy if you scroll all the way down what it says analytic is the first one so right on top it says share iphone and watch analytic you want to have this off you don't want um your phone to be constantly sending information to apple because this is uh, running in the background and this is draining your battery. So um, you don't need this on. Um, it doesn't benefit you at all, so just turn it off. Another tip is in the wallpaper, actually. A lot of people don't know this, but when you set up your wallpapers, it's better for you to use a still image because um, when you're using moving image, that's draining the battery in the background. So here, what it says perspective, it gives you the option. I would choose still because Prospector, remember, give you that 3D effect that um, your apps look like um, the background is moving and all that. So this will help you um, save some battery life, okay? So remember this, still image are best if you want to save battery life. Another tip is um, in iTunes and App Store. So right here where it says automatically download, you don't need to have this on. You can turn this off because you can do this manually. So um, you don't need to update apps. You don't need to do nothing automatically. You could do this um, manually. And this will help you save um, a lot of battery life. Also, the brightness. A lot of people like to have this all the way to 100, all the way to the top. And this will drain your battery. So it's better for you to have it in the middle or a little bit less or a little bit more but never all the way to the top because this will drain your battery really fast. Another way to extend your battery life is actually going into the battery settings and turn on low power mode. So what this is gonna do is um, some of those apps that run in the background, this is gonna reduce the activity or it's gonna turn them off. And this option is easy to go back and forward by creating a shortcut in the um, control center. So like this, you don't have to go into the settings and then battery, you just swipe up, control center and turn it on and turn it off from there. And the last one, I almost forgot about this one. This one, you're gonna go back to privacy. So um, where we were earlier, and then you're gonna go to location services and you're gonna scroll all the way down. And um, in the bottom it says system services. And inside system services, there's a lot of options that by default they turn on and they should not be on. There's a lot of things here that we don't use like compass calibration. I don't know who used that compass. That's one of the first things that I um, remove when I get a new iPhone. So um, there's plenty of stuff here. Um, 
setting time zone, you don't need that. Also at the bottom where it says product improvement, iPhone analytic, you don't need that. Popular near me. Now routing and traffic, if you use Google map, you're gonna need this. If you don't, then turn it off. And also you could turn it off and then when you're gonna use um, the Google map, you could just go back and turn it on. So it's not a big deal. But all of this should be turned off and they will save you a lot of battery. And if you decide to do some of this or to do all of them, you're gonna see the difference in battery life, okay? So that's it for this one. If you like the video, please hit that thumbs up, share, also subscribe and hit the bell so you can get a notification as soon as we upload new video. If you have any question or anything to add, please leave it in the comment and you can follow me on Twitter at Apple School. Till the next one.